Hello, this is Amber with Labs and Sync Tarot. This is your weekly reading for September 17th through 23rd. And this is for the element of Earth. I feel like this music is really, really loud. Okay, so we're going to start with Taurus. Spirit, what do you have for Taurus for September 17th through 23rd? Okay. Eight of Swords, the Chariot, Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, oh, Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant being on the bottom of the deck for you all, it tells me that you are either dealing with a relationship, a job, okay, religious practices, or this could be just your moral values about how you look at things or how you react to things. Okay, let's see what's under there for you. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is about your own destiny. Okay, and I feel when I see these cards together that it's about your destiny and moving forward, knowing what path you're on, you're on Taurus, okay, and knowing that it is leading you towards a new cycle. Things will change about how you feel, your beliefs, your foundations, okay. Um, those things will change your conformity with certain aspects of your life okay it's gonna have you move forward from those things or that path that you had set for yourself to bring you something new something that you wished for something that is um, going to help you heal or become better so I do feel as though you're trapped in your own thoughts the ways of doing things okay because you were happy there your Ten of Cups, positive outcome, okay? You're happy being stuck. That's what it looks like, okay? Um, so it's going to be hard for you to make the move. But there's an opportunity for something secure, an opportunity for something better, um, something that could add to your Ten of Cups, okay? Um, and I feel as though your happiness has reached an ending point. Not that it's going to get worse, but it's time for you to open yourself up to something new. Something that is more secure or better for you. Um, just something new. It's time for you to make a new change, a new transition. Okay, And it's going to take you to be very uh, calm and compassionate during this time. And to know your intuition, your intentions, and to basically become one with your emotions and that it doesn't affect you moving forward. Because I feel as though your thoughts will go back to the past or you'll be worried about this new change. Okay? But it feels divinely touched, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. And on the deck, I see the Star card. Okay. So it's okay for you to have fear, but you have to continue to move forward. Okay. There might also be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that it are that is there to um, support you. Okay. But I feel like they're gonna open up this confusion for you and it's not really confusion it's just like are you sure are you ready type of energy okay but you do have something coming in that's strong and uh, reliable especially with the ace of pentacles it's really about your choices and what you choose Taurus okay so your oracle card is focused on service your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a consistent stream of bliss. This stream continues to feed you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Exactly. Okay. So there is something new coming in that is available to you. Okay, for more stability and that's exactly what this oracle card is stressing to you that it's okay for you to move forward and not be fearful all right okay so this is for Virgo
Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Virgo for September 17th through 23rd? What would you like them to know, be aware of, focus on at this time? Okay. Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, Two of Swords, Nine of Swords, Justice, Four of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Cups. This makes me feel like there's some confusion or illusion about the situation you're in. And it can go either way, okay? But all in all, I feel like you just don't know what to do or what path to go on. Um, and you either keep, your, you keep yourself in an idea that mm, possibly isn't working for you, okay? Um, but you feel content here. You feel content but you're trapped if that makes any sense it's like i can deal with this i can but it's with this eight of swords coming up behind it it means that it's not very realistic but with the empress you feel as though there's a reason to nurture this situation but for some reason you feel confused okay or you are in a state of being unclear Okay, and that's something to focus on. But I still see you standing forward and, and being strong in the situation. Because I, you feel security here. There's security generations, meaning that you feel like it's something to grow off of. It's something to stay with. But there is some worry, maybe about it not, or the past happening again, or it being like the past. But there definitely is some fear here. And it's about you setting rules and foundations for the relationship or situation that you're in. It's important for you to have authority for yourself. The justice comes up because it's about balance of power. Meaning that you're not getting something out of this that you should be getting. Okay? And that's fully, and you're fully aware of that. But it's time for you to take control of the situation and set some sort of foundations for yourself because it doesn't look like you have them. It looks like you're in a situation and it's consistent, but that doesn't mean that the foundations are sturdy enough for you, okay? With the Two of Swords, you have a decision to make and you're kind of stuck. It's like, I don't want to stay, I don't want to go. Okay, and it's time for you to, to make a decision. I do see that you do want to hold on to what you have. You've made these things for yourself, okay? You've worked hard to, to make this situation, but you have to worry about balance and the fact that you're confused about the situation. So really, it's up to you, to be completely honest, if you want to stay here, but just know that it is unbalanced and it's not just and you do have to make some changes in that, that aspect of the situation or relationship, okay? So Virgo, let's see what we have for Virgo. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. Exactly. I don't see that there's a worry. I don't see that there's abuse or anything of that nature. I just see that something doesn't feel just or right or uh, it doesn't feel even okay, or unfair or there may be delays or a person may not be... Um, taking the accountability that they need towards the relationship, okay? But there has to be some choices made in order to continue strong. But I do feel like there's nothing to worry about. Leave it in divine energy's hands. And, you know, you can stay, you can go, as I said before, okay? So next we have Capricorn. Okay. Spirit guide. <laughs> wow. Spirit guide, guardian angel, divine energy. 
Can I please have a reading for Capricorn for September 17th through 23rd? What do you have for them? Okay, so let me focus on the cards that fell out for a second. Very strong cards, by the way. Okay, Capricorn's been having very interesting readings. You have the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Sun. Now, all of these are very positive cards, meaning that there's growth, possibly with the Fire Sign, Aries, Lyra, Sagittarius coming for you. Or you could be growing or they see an opportunity in you, so they're coming for you, okay? And they do have positive thoughts about the situation. It's like they're enlightened about the situation and they want to make some changes. So beware of that person coming into you. Not beware, but be aware that that person is coming into you, okay? So we have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune says that things are changing. Times are changing. Um, Capricorn, that's been happening for a while for you. Um, and it looks like an opportunity for love. Beautiful. So things are changing in your love situation, okay? Or how you feel about um, love or emotions in your life. It's like... Finally, it comes, some enlightenment and epiphany, okay? And it's because you stood strong in a situation and you continue forward. So, so that's what brings this into being, which is beautiful. Something secure that you can hold on to. But I do see that you are still confused. Um, or maybe it's the other person that is confused and they need to make a decision. They realize that they have lost you or you realize that you have lost them because this is based on energy and it can go either way. Um, they don't want to lose you or they feel like they have lost you and th then the message comes in. Either you give a message or they give a message about you. They could have been watching you or um, trying to figure out how to go about contacting you or or making this this ace of wands happen okay and you could be doing i'm gonna say a fire sign i'm gonna say gemini libra aquarius and i'm gonna say another earth sign um taurus virgo or capricorn and this energy this person they're very steady it's like they have a message, they have a plan, they, they are ready to, to make it happen. I do like to see the Knight of Pentacles because that lets me know that they're sturdy. They have an idea for security and it's something that they want to work on, okay? They're very methodical. They, they, um, they, ha they have a plan, you know, um, about what they want for you. And I feel like this plan is a little bit different than what you want or what you think. Um, I feel like you continue to move forward, though. Um, the message helps you move forward. But there's still some conflict. And I feel like that conflict is actually within you. Because you've got the message and you still have the thoughts about this person. I mean, it is... Because I have this fire energy here um, and this page energy, and well, the night and the page energy. The night energy is very um, passionate and they take risks and they like uh, goals, you know, things like that. And it's a little wishy-washy because they can come and go. But with the knight of pentacles here, I feel like this is a very secure energy so it doesn't scare me as much. But I feel like this person is passionate about you, okay? And this message may be light. You may be a little confused by it. I feel like it's not exactly as clear as, as it should be. But they have positive feelings towards you. And I'm leaning more towards the fire sign, the Aries Leo Sagittarius. I'm leaning more towards the... Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but not as much to the Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Only because of the cards that are surrounding it, okay? And this may be three people, actually. Because I feel like the Page of Swords doesn't really know what he wants or she wants. But they're diving into it and just trying to move forward with the energy that they have. Not necessarily that it's built on anything stable. 
the knight of pentacles um which is your taurus virgo or capricorn they feel like they have lost you okay and they are consistently trying to get you back but you are coming at them with some um opposition but with this fire sign they do you see an opportunity there they see an opportunity for happiness and just going for it with the sun card and the ten of cups and the ace of wands i feel like that's really good energy but of course things are changing in love and you just have to stand by what it is that you know or what it is that you want what it is that is stable for you because this card was on the deck as well um what is best for you what is secure for you that's what you're looking for so um again i'm gonna stick with what i said but i'm gonna pull an oracle card for you and two of them fell out very interesting so you have relationship and this is about um your primary relationship is with you and god and every relationship follows thereafter so it's about you what do you need what is your stability what are the things that you want within a relationship that is very important for you and the heart chakra is about remaining open to love open and nice do not be um mean or confronting this is just about going with the flow and realizing that love is there for you because you have the opportunity okay with the ace of cups it's an opportunity it doesn't mean that it's coming straight for you you have to actually put some effort towards it as well okay so thank you so much for listening i'll see you next week i love you